Hello Leo, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Dove Tarot. Um, today we're going to have a look at your health, wealth and destiny um, cards for the 22nd of April to the 20th of May. Um, so let's get started. Thank you universe, thank you angels. Please show me what does Leo need to know in regards to their health from the 22nd of April to the 20th of May. Thank you, Spirit. Please show me. Hydration. Are you drinking enough water, Leo? What else do they need to know? Please show me. There it is. You saw it before I did. Diet. Okay, so. Two really important cards for you here, Leo. First of all, hydration. Um, simple thing is about drinking enough water. Um, the message couldn't be any clearer for me, but it could also mean about um, um, you've, it's coupled with the diet card. So, you know, often what I see is that, and we're talking about diet as in nutrition and health and, and what you're eating, but often hydration comes up when it's like we are eating more than we should because we're actually thirsty. Um, and, and it even says that on the reading, it says, um, sorry, on the reading, on the card. It says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health, energy and appetite stay at optimal levels throughout each day. So if you've been feeling really tired, if it's been quite a draining uh, few weeks, if you found that you're starting to eat a bit more, I know in Australia it's getting a little bit cooler and generally what happens is we tend to hibernate, we stay in, we eat a bit more. Um, if you're in the States or the UK and you're coming out of that phase and it's coming into spring, and it's really quite getting warm, it's just a reminder that you've got to keep your water levels up, okay? Um, and the other card that's come through is diet is important here. Um, it says, thank you for guiding me to make positive eating and drinking choices and for reducing or eliminating my cravings. So again, it's a similar message. If you've been finding that you're really addicted to salty foods, I don't know why, but I'm getting salt to come through a lot, like chips, anything that's kind of savory. Um, and the reason why I say that is because it's, it's showing me fruit in this photo. So it's, it's like a balance to that, to that sugar, that natural sugar. Um, if, you're drink, if you're eating a lot of salty foods, which is making you even more dehydrated or more thirsty and you're not um, drinking enough water, the message here is you really need to have a look at your diet, okay? Um, make some positive changes. If you find that, and you, you will know how this pertains to you, but if you find that you are addicted to sugar, then try and cut it down. Um, it's one of the biggest addictions that we have in life. If you find it salt, try and eliminate that. Um, and what I always say and something that's worked a lot for me too is that sometimes when I'm hungry, I'm not actually hungry, hungry I'm thirsty. So try tracking your water. You can do it. There's heaps of free apps that you can get on your phone. If you don't like to do it that way, just get a litre jug and try and see if you can get through two litres in a day. It will help. Especially for some of you that have been having headaches or migraines. Um, cause I'm just being shown someone with a headache and needing to, to lie down. Okay. Clear messages there, um, for you, Leo. Now let's have a look at your wealth and abundance. Thank you, spirit. Please show me what are the messages for wealth and abundance for Leo, uh, from the 22nd of April to the 20th of May. Please show me what does Leo need to know? Trying to remember what your other readings were, but um, some repeating messages here, I believe. Please show me what does Leo need to know. Thank you. Yep. Who's the Virgo, Leo? There it is. It's a lot of cards, but I want the ones that flipped up right. Just as I said, Virgo too. Okay, Leo, so there is some Virgo in your life that is draining your cash. I don't know who this person is. I don't know who they are to you. Um, I just, that message has come through really clearly as I'm doing your reading. Um, don't loan them any more money, okay? Because it's not coming back. 
um, either that or it's your significant other who's just recently lost their job or something like that and you're having to pick up the burden. Um, Leo, the reason why I was saying I was trying to remember what your other reading was because I felt like what the energy was going to show me was similar to what had come up um, in your uh, love reading. And really this is about le lessons for you about budgeting and cash flow and who you give your money to. And I say that because it is coupled with the two of swords. So it's like you're at an impasse with someone in a relationship. It's the same repeating message that's come up before. Don't use your money to try and buy love. Um, you do not have to support another in that way. Yeah, sure, help them, make them a meal, do them something nice, give them a massage, whatever. But you don't have to physically pay their phone bill. Okay, that's their responsibility. Um, and, you know, I, I think you're still kind of learning how to come out of that. Uh, that lesson you are taking a stand it's literally what it says taking a stand you are taking a stand um, you're retreating you're going into to hermit mode you're kind of like you know I'm just sick of feeling like this way I'm sick of feeling this kind of lack and loss so I'm just going to stay at home until I get myself out of this situation and I've got a bit more cash coming in next month and, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. Sometimes unnecessary things happen and if we don't have savings for them and we're not budgeted, that's life, right? Um, but if this does pertain to a love interest and perhaps it's not a love interest, it could be a family member or a really close friend that you continually keep to bailing out um, a brother or a sister I'm even getting, um, you know, retreat. You don't have to be the rescuer for everyone. Retreat. Okay, you could just be a really good friend at work. Um, and I, I see that you are going to do that because you've just had enough. You're just kind of like, yeah, not. I love the colors on these cards too. They're quite fun. It's like you see in this card for me, there's so much blue, this blue background. It's like mental energy. You're just mentally, um, you know, kind of tired of having to keep, you know, going through the same cycle of budgeting, you know, literally this is the tool coin and in a traditional tarot show someone who's who's juggling who's up in the air juggling it's like taking money from one account to put into another and kind of going through that motion and look there's no judgment in any reading here like I've been there I get it but it's really time for you to learn that lesson help yourself first before you can help others right and um and when you do that you've got this hesitancy that in saying no that it's going to come back and fire on you but this card is literally talking about healing and second chances and this talks about um having balance restored and a resolution so it's almost like once you set that standard or that boundary um you're going to find equilibrium again but it's going to take you this whole period this whole month to be able to actually get out of this energy um and again there's some sort of virgo connection here um quite strongly for someone okay so that message was pretty clear um let's have a look at your life purpose and your destiny for the month please show me that just fell out of my hand it wasn't a message what does leo need to know please show me thank you spirit what does leo need to know <laughs> leo i am balance um the full moon is going to be when you get out of this kind of situation in your head um, but this card, um, illustrations are beautiful again, and it talks about finding balance, um, within your financial situation that will give you the direction that you need when it comes to your life purpose and what you really want to be doing in your career. Um, once you've kind of get to that mode and get out of, um, your feelings of, um, your fear around, letting someone down when actually you're not in the position to be learning as it is. Once you kind of get out of that phase, you'll find the balance again, which will align you to what you're meant to be doing and your destiny and your life purpose. Um, <laughs> I'm going to read for you what the book says. I'm just, I'm laughing to myself because I love when it aligns. It, it still creeps me out to this day, how spooky it is. But um, the meaning in the book that accompanies the card says negative thoughts and self-criticism are diminishing your sense of worth and as such you do not see the beautiful and unique qualities you possess at the core of your being you hold endless love and creative possibility love and creativity are your true nature it's beautiful and the things you don't like about yourself believed to be bad 
or are ashamed of are as good and as valuable as the things you do like about yourself. Everything in our world consists of complementary opposites. Yin and yang or positive and negative charges are all part of life and exist in everyone and everything. What was I saying about balance, yin and yang, juggling? Without this, nothing in our world would exist. In rejecting, in rejecting aspects of yourself, you are in a way rejecting the whole nature of existence. It is only through embracing and loving yourself totally that the balance can be restored. You do not need to improve in order to be successful and happy. You just need to change the perceptions you have of yourself. Right? Love and accept yourself as you are and your life will automatically transform. You do not need to change who you are. You just need to love yourself. Leo, very clear message here of self first. Um, three affirmations. I love and accept all of me. I love and accept the world as it is. There is nothing to change. There is only love. Love for self, Leo. That is your reading. I hope you found it helpful. If you have, please um, drop me a comment in the comment box below. I've had some really good um, exchanges with people dropping by to say hello. So I'd love to hear what your story is. Um, and otherwise, I will see you at the full moon reading um, at the end of the month. Okay, thanks. Take care.